The U.S. Navy usually honors former American presidents by naming aircraft carriers after them, but the USS Jimmy Carter is the one exception, it is a nuclear submarine named after the 39th President of the United States. James Earl Carter Jr. worked for the Atomic Energy Commission and then Union College in New York, where he gained a solid understanding of the physics of nuclear energy. He also served on numerous U.S. Navy submarines. He would apply that understanding while working for Admiral Hyman Rickover and advancing the nuclear navy. But in 1953, after the passing of his father, Carter was forced to quit the Navy. Rickover's team would launch the USS Nautilus, the first nuclear-powered submarine ever, less than a year after Carter left. Due to their high cost, Carter, as president, halted the construction of supercarriers and instead favored the development of medium-sized aircraft carriers. It doesn't make much sense for Carter to be associated with a weapons project that he opposed as president. But in order for the sole Annapolis graduate to become the head of state, the Navy had to take action. It makes perfect sense to dedicate the third Seawolf-class submarine to him.